Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Welcome to a very cold Disneyland Paris. Here in France, I'm currently standing in front of Disney's New York Hotel, The Art of Marvel. And this is going to be another one of my favorite restaurant series videos. So yesterday you would have watched hopefully my Chez Remy review, my recent Chez Remy review where I went there and tried to rank one of my favorite restaurants, Chez Remy in Walt Disney Studios Park. Today we're going to be heading inside New York Hotel because at the moment it hosts one of my other favorite restaurants, table service restaurants that is, and that is Manhattan Restaurant. So come along. Hopefully it's going to be a very nice, warm and tasty evening. The entrance of Disney's Hotel New York, the art of Marvel, never gets old to be honest. And actually for the festive season they've got the Christmas tree up as well. It makes the exterior of the hotel even more magical, especially in the evening time with all the lights up, the red lights and then Hotel New York's entrance and the beautiful Christmas tree as well of course. And look at this festive baubles they've got going on just outside Hotel New York as well. Here's one here. Look at that. I think that might be Iron Man just chilling on this wall ball. Very cool. And of course, on the other side here, we've got Groot looking a little bit silly trying to put the lights up, I suppose, for that Christmas tree over there. But anyway, our reservation should be coming up in the next five minutes or so. So let's head in and get some food. I'm really cold. One of my favorite things about Disney's Hotel New York, the art of Marvel, ever since they changed it into a Marvel Hotel, is just the smell. When you enter the lobby, it is such a lovely smell. And I wish you could feel it from the camera, but sadly, technology hasn't advanced quite that yet so far. Also, it just looks so nice and festive during the Christmas season. Anyway, the two restaurants here are Downtown Restaurant, which is a buffet restaurant, as well as Manhattan, which is a bit more upmarket, a bit more expensive, and that one is a sit-down restaurant. That one between the two is my favorite, although I do enjoy Downtown as well. I do have a full video of Downtown Restaurant too. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. But you can see the two entrances here for both restaurants. Tonight, we are heading into Manhattan Restaurant, which is on the right over here. Of course, I'm going to show you the menu later on when we get sat, but I thought I would show you it's very quickly on the outside as well Manhattan restaurant it opens at 18 o'clock 6 p.m. every night until about 10 30 p.m. and it's an Italian restaurant so they do a lot of you know lasagnas pastas Italian kind of food those are different pastas over here it's also very good for vegans so they do have quite a lot of vegan options inside Manhattan restaurant I brought my friend Izzy here a while ago who is vegan and she said it was one of the best restaurants she's ever eaten at in Disneyland Paris she absolutely loved it she's a big Marvel fan as well but she really enjoyed her vegan food at Manhattan which makes me feel like it probably is very good for vegans because I feel like I can't really judge it considering I'm not vegan but if a vegan said that they really enjoyed their three course meal here then it must be good anyway we are getting closer and closer to the entrance of Manhattan restaurant here it doesn't look to be too busy either my reservation is for 6 p.m. so 18 o'clock which is obviously when the restaurant first opens this is the time that would normally have more slots available so if you can't get a reservation on the app or if you've tried loads of different options you've called them up and they've said it's fully booked my recommendation is to maybe get here early maybe get to the hotel quarter to six you know a few minutes before 6 p.m. and just check check out the reception here they might have some cancellation some last-minute availabilities so it's definitely worth doing that if you really want to eat at one of the hotel restaurants restaurants here. Thankfully I do actually have a reservation for tonight though and it does say here dear guests please wait a moment on one of our crew members will join you shortly to accompany you to your table. Can't wait. So here we are inside. It's merci beaucoup, merci. We've got the lovely Christmas trees going on. This restaurant is so nice and peaceful. Oh merci beaucoup monsieur. And here we are we are being taken to our table. Merci, merci au revoir. So I'm at my table, it's a lovely table as well, and you can see the beautiful chandelier, the iconic chandelier here, which is meant to represent the Marvel characters just there behind me. But I've got my menu here with me, I'm going to go through it with you. As I mentioned earlier, this is quite an expensive restaurant, and actually recently, Disneyland Paris has increased prices quite a lot, and whilst Manhattan is not one of the ones that has increased too much, it is definitely a few more euros more expensive than it was before, so it's a nice restaurant to come to for a nice date, a treat, celebration, just enjoying life kind of thing. And let's quickly have a look at the menu here. So you can get some items here a la carte if you wish to. We're using some antipasti, some starters, we've got parma ham, burrata, which I have had before, is really delicious, seafood salad, artichoke salad. You can get some soups, including a vegan minestrone soup if you wish to, and you can actually see the prices on the side as well. Basically, they range from about 15 euros to 20 euros for the starters. Then you've got some pastas for your main course if you wish to. I have actually had the lasagna before as well. I'm not gonna get it tonight, but here's what it looks like so you can get a feel of it. It was actually delicious. Like, I couldn't believe how delicious it was considering I'm not normally the biggest fan of lasagna. I really enjoy the one here. 
here at Manhattan and I thought it actually was fully worth the 30 euros that I paid. We've also got another vegan option here which is buckwheat maltagliati. It's kind of a pasta, pistachio, pesto, fresh tomatoes and porcini mushrooms that is 35 euros. You can get yourself some risottos if you wish to, a Milanese risotto, seafood risotto, then some more plaza over here, filet of sea bass, grilled prawns, Ooh, that looks so good actually. Milanese veal which is 41 euros, it's one of the more expensive items on the menu but I have always gotten it apart from that one time when I got the lasagna. Milanese veal is normally what I tend to go for here and it is delicious. Then you've got a suckling pig and a free range chicken and then some side dishes we've got uh, the roast potatoes with garlic and rosemary which are phenomenal. I would highly recommend getting those and then a couple of vegan options, zucchini and grilled seasonal vegetables, fried polenta and seasonal salad with extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Here you've got a choice of cheeses and desserts of course. We are going to get to the desserts later on. You can also of course order yourself a birthday cake if you wish to but you can if you wish to make your life a little bit less expensive. So for the Greenwich menu this one will cost you 55 euros if you don't want wine included and you can choose one of these antipastis here which you can see one of the main courses here and one of the dessert options so unfortunately my Milanese veal is not included in the Greenwich Village menu so I'm not going to go for it but it's nice that you have the option and then here you can see some of the drinks that you can get the beers the wines etc I have already ordered my drinks for the night I went for my regular apple juice of course not having any alcohol just to keep the price a little bit down because I really want that veal Milanese and the roast potatoes which honestly all together all of that will come up to about probably 60 euros just with that but I'm probably gonna get a dessert as well because I just want to show you everything and it has been a while since I last ate at the Manhattan and I really really do enjoy this restaurant we already have our bread on the table Spanish bread apparently and Italian bread this one is so so lovely highly recommend it as well as some beautiful olive oil as well which I cannot wait to eat also I wanted to show you these basically the salt and pepper holders here were so so cute kind of give you a Manhattan vibe of course with it being called the Manhattan restaurant over here I also just want to give a big shout out to my server for the night his name is Aslam and already he has been fantastic I feel like it's going to be a really beautiful evening here okay let's try some of the bread this one as I said is my favorite from previous experiences here at the Manhattan it's just so beautiful fluffy nice and soft it's delicious it's such nice bread the olive oil as well is so so beautiful honestly a lovely bread service here at the Manhattan well the bread was delicious really enjoyed it I've got my apple juice here with me as well which obviously is always gonna be nice I'm just gonna take a quick sip but yes I have now ordered my food as well I decided to go for a main course and a side as well as dessert so normally I would go for a starter as well but Manhattan restaurant is the exception to the rule for me because I really enjoy their dessert here the tiramisu which you are gonna see later on if you've been a long time subscriber of my channel you might have already seen it but for my main course I decided to go for the veal as always even though I have had the lasagna here before and I do highly recommend that one as well my go-to as I said is the veal Milanese it's delicious it's so filling it's so beautifully cooked and I went for the side of rosemary slash garlic potatoes which I also really enjoy here I did just want to quickly show you the atmosphere in this restaurant it's so nice and peaceful like I said especially with the Christmas decorations going on it's definitely not a restaurant that I would recommend bringing kids to I mean if you have children and if you really want to eat here then I'm sure they'll be fine there are some kids here every time I've been here I've seen some families with little children here but it's not going to be one that's going to excite the children if you have children they're probably going to enjoy something like share me more or even Captain Jack's in Adventureland the Pirates uh, restaurant but this is a nice as I said like treat restaurant if you just want to treat yourself if you're here with a date if you're celebrating a birthday as adults then this could be really lovely the atmosphere is really cool and I think it's just a nice little getaway from the rest of the busyness of the park Sheremi if you've seen my video from yesterday whilst it's beautiful the theming is excellent it can be quite noisy in there it can be very very busy the tables are definitely closer to each other than they are here like I feel like I've got enough space to chill I don't feel like I've got somebody right next to me just feel a lot more relaxed here the atmosphere is definitely a lot more relaxed whilst I wait for my main course to arrive though I want to show you some clips of the burrata which I have had here before a number of times as my starter because you know even though I didn't get it today I would highly recommend the burrata it's delicious loads of nice cheese vegetables really nice starter to get at Manhattan restaurant and with that our main course has arrived and already I cannot wait to eat this because it just smells delicious we've got the veal over here as you can see and it's big as well it is huge and I'm glad that the size hasn't changed since I first ate here in June of 2021 you can check out that video as well if you wish to love the tables here as well by the way as well as the plates 
very very cute and then we've got the garlic roast potatoes which just taste delicious i love garlic these are some of the best potatoes i've ever had and a lovely server came and asked if i wanted some more bread which i said why not because i really do enjoy that italian bread got some more of the olive oil over there as well and of course i had to go for my trusty mayonnaise even though i'm probably not even going to use it that much because the flavor of the veal and the potatoes are so beautiful on their own that i don't even think i need the sauce but i just like to have it you know even as decoration i think it could be cute but look at my table right now it looks beautiful i did get a bottle of water as well in addition to my uh, apple juice but yeah i cannot wait to eat this now honestly one of my favorite meals in this land paris i absolutely love it the first time i tried this and you can check out the video like i said if you want to down below I just like, I felt like I went to heaven and came back. I love it that much. I truly hope it's as good as I remember it, as good as it was the last time I ate here at the Manhattan. So I've just done a little cut of the veal cutlet here. Looks pretty good to be fair, nice and juicy. Hopefully it's gonna be delicious as well. It's phenomenal. It is so nicely cooked. I love the flavors in it. It's nice and juicy as well, which is something that I appreciate personally. It hasn't changed at all since I first had it over a year ago now. Wow, honestly, I just can't get over how beautiful this is. One of my favorite meals, as I said, to get at this land Paris, and I cannot wait to continue eating this giant, I mean, look at it. It is a pretty big, giant veal cutlet here. And I was right, the flavor is so good that I don't think I'll be using the mayonnaise at all. I'm so happy right now. But I am gonna quickly try some of the potatoes as well, even though I have done so before. I mean, look at them. Look how beautiful they look nice and garlicky oh, they smell so good again absolutely delicious definitely worth getting the side potatoes with your meal whatever you get even if you get lasagna i would say still get the roast potatoes it's so delicious here so yes i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal now cannot wait to eat the rest of this you do get some lemons as well i've got my bread still this is gonna be a phenomenal evening you know when you feel sad because you've just finished a really delicious meal that's how I feel right now. And I don't feel that way too often, but yeah, that meal was fantastic. Just as good as I remembered it. It's just, as I said, one of my favorite meals to get here in Disneyland Paris. And I don't know when I'll be coming here again, because as I said, it is quite an expensive restaurant. It's one of the ones that I try to visit maybe once a year if I can. Obviously, a lot of you have been asking me for a while what my favorite table service restaurants are. So I used that as an excuse to come here again to show this to you because this is one of my favorite restaurants. And I'm excited to properly rank it later on. Obviously, when we finish our full meal, I'm going to try my best to rank everything as I did with Jeremy yesterday. And just like that, my dessert has arrived as well now. The famous tiramisu from Manhattan restaurant here. One of my favorite desserts to get at Disneyland Paris. It is delicious. I mean, I love Chomizu anyway, but the ones here are some of the best I've had, at least in any Disney theme park. So yeah, cannot wait to eat this again tonight. <sighs> I am so full, honestly, just from the bread service and that amazing huge veal and potatoes, which I highly recommend. But here it is, my beautifully layered tiramisu. Oh, I always have space for tiramisu, even if I'm completely full, so yeah oh look at that look how beautiful it is right let's give this a taste test again just as good as i remember it this is such a delicious tiramisu if you like tiramisu and if you especially like the kind of more bitter taste of it which i prefer i prefer tiramisus that have more of a coffee flavor you can obviously taste a bit of the alcohol in here as well it is so delicious look at this look at me I am such a happy girl at the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna continue eating this and speak to you at the end when we get our bill. We have the bill now here with us and I love the little book that it comes in as well, Disney's Hotel New York. The Art of Marvel, inside as well actually, you can see the designs, the different Art of Marvel designs that you can see. And here is my total price. So as you can see all together, it came to about 55 euros. I did get about a 10 euro discount with my Infinity Annual Pass. So that's always good. But yeah, it's definitely not a cheap meal to have. But I feel like 55 euros for this is justified. Even if it was about 65, I still feel like it would have been justified. You have to remember as well that I got two drinks. I got a big bottle of Vitel, which was six euros. I just tend to do that. I don't know why. I love my <laughs> bottled water, as well as obviously the apple juice as well. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just get yourself tap water. But yeah, my uh, Côte de Vaux, the veal was 41 euros, as you can see. And that already came with the side of potatoes, which is good because I didn't have to pay any extra for the potatoes. And then the tiramisu cost 13 euros so yeah altogether 55 euros not bad at all 
someone's birthday as well. Happy birthday! I love it. And just like that, I have now paid and I'm leaving the restaurant. You can see there's quite a bit of a line now. A queue to get inside the restaurant is probably around somewhere between 7.30 and 7.45 p.m. These people might even have reservations already, but even if they have reservations, they might have to wait in line a little bit just to be able to get to the reception to let them know that they have a reservation. So that's why eating early definitely has its benefits or eating very late. So this restaurant is open until 10.30 p.m. If you can wait a little bit longer and maybe have a dining reservation at like 10 p.m. Yeah, you're still going to get a nice service, everything's going to be the same, it's just hopefully going to be a bit quieter, you know? So before I head out of the hotel, I thought I would quickly try and rank everything. I mean, you saw the restaurant, you saw everything to do with the food that I had. Overall, I can tell you here, I enjoyed my meal. It is still one of my favorite restaurants, but I do want to try and rank things bit by bit to hopefully give you a better idea of whether or not this restaurant is for you. So the first thing is the theming. Now, Manhattan restaurant, as you saw, is kind of like an upmarket, posh restaurant. It doesn't really have too much of a theming, whilst, yes, the chandelier is kind of meant to represent the Manhattan buildings, and it has some little references to the Marvel characters. For instance, the chairs that you sit on, you can basically spin on them, and apparently it's to do with the fact that you're a superhero so you should be able to go wherever you need to as soon as you need to save the world kind of thing just very little subtle hints to it being a marvel hotel really but if you like a nice peaceful calm atmosphere then i would recommend it i personally do really enjoy the manhattan restaurant setting i feel like it's really nice you know the restaurant the decor everything just brings me calm and peace and as i mentioned earlier in the vlog it's just a nice little escape from the hustle and bustle of the disney parks especially the restaurants inside the parks because those can be quite hectic i mean even though i love a lot of them they are generally a lot more busy and hectic you just feel a lot more yeah like i said feel a lot more hectic than the ones in the hotel especially the ones that are a bit more upscale such as manhattan restaurant so for the theming i'm gonna probably have to give it a six out of ten because whilst i really do enjoy it i very much recognize that it's not really themed necessarily especially when we compare this to for instance sheremi which you would have seen in the video yesterday sheremi is so well themed there are so many cute little details not to the film inside the restaurant whereas manhattan restaurant could easily be just any other restaurant you know it's not really that disney and whilst it has some really small subtle references to Marvel and New York it's nothing major enough for it to be well recognized by a lot of people so like I said it's very much just a nice restaurant so I think 6 out of 10 is reasonable because it's a nice setting it's just not too themed compared to some of the other Disney restaurants in Disneyland Paris the next thing I have on my list is food quality and for Manhattan restaurant in Disney's Hotel New York The Art of Marvel I've given the food quality 9 out of 10 because personally speaking every time I've eaten at Manhattan restaurant I've had a very enjoyable meal I can vouch for the veal being one of the best meals I've had in any Disney park to be honest it's delicious especially if you like veal obviously if you're not a fan of meat if you don't like veal maybe don't get that but I've tried that about three or four times now and every single time it's been consistently good so have the potatoes the garlic rosemary potatoes really good quality really nice and I feel like they do represent the price as well like for the price that you're paying which you're gonna get to later the quality of the food is pretty good and it's something that I would expect from a Disney hotel to be honest and a good hotel as well as I said I have had the lasagna here once before as well and even the lasagna I thought was really good quality so yeah I think 9 out of 10 is pretty reasonable sorry about the noise in the background I think somebody is hoovering but um, yeah 9 out of 10 for the food quality next we get to food variety which is basically how many food options are available at this restaurant? What kind of options are there? Are there enough options for vegans, vegetarians? Are there enough options for picky eaters? And I feel like food variety at Manhattan is, in my opinion, 10 out of 10, to be honest. Firstly, because, well, number one, it's an Italian restaurant. A lot of people, most people in the world, I would say, probably do enjoy Italian food or at least something from the menu. They've got lasagnas there. They've got pastas. They've got more meat options, as you saw. They've got fish. They've got, like, prawns. They've got a real variety of options. And the kids' menu as well, which I didn't really mention earlier, they do have a children's menu here, which does have some good options for kids as well if you wish to bring your children with you. I think the fact that you can purchase a la carte is really good as well because you can mix and match if you don't want to go for a full-on menu like I didn't do you can just get little bits and bobs from the a la carte menu the potatoes are really nice there were other options as well like 
the anti pasties the starters really good options and as i mentioned earlier in the vlog it's really good for vegans as well and vegetarians so you do definitely have a wide variety of options to go for here at manhattan restaurant in this hotel new york art of marvel so i don't know i mean let me know in the comments down below but i personally feel like 10 out of 10 in terms of food variety it's probably deserved for this restaurant next we get to ambiance and i really like that one just because it can really be anything to be honest now i've given the ambiance 8 out of 10 because again the vibe of the restaurant it's not too disney it's not like it's anything that special you can definitely find restaurants similar to this all over the world really it's not like it's a particularly unique restaurant but for a restaurant in the disney hotel in disneyland paris it has a nice ambiance you know i enjoy myself every time i go there i like the atmosphere I feel like it's nice and peaceful it just feels relaxing much more relaxing than a lot of the other restaurants in this land paris so yeah eight out of ten for ambiance next we have service and the service i have to say at manhattan restaurant has been phenomenal every single time i've been here and i think i've eaten here about four times now since it reopened as a marvel hotel so yeah four times and i've had different servers different cast members every single time and they've all been absolutely fantastic it's really really good service big shout out to my server tonight aslam his name was but my first visit i had chloe and i still remember chloe she's one of the best cast members i've had so shout out to chloe as well even though she wasn't around today and also remy remy is another cast member that works at manhattan restaurant he wasn't my server tonight but he's amazing as well like i said every cast member i've dealt with at manhattan restaurant in the past year and a bit of visiting it has been fantastic so service i feel like it has to be 10 out of 10 for sure there are children literally running around hello how are you yeah. you're right um anyway value for money is the last one and this is quite a difficult one because this is an upmarket restaurant this is a posh restaurant the prices are elevated the food quality i feel like more or less does reflect the prices again especially considering you are in one of the best uh, hotels as well in disneyland paris this is uh, almost a five-star hotel it's meant to be a four-star but it's close to a five-star hotel it's definitely quite an expensive hotel to stay at as well so the restaurant prices do definitely reflect reflect the price of the hotel as well would i say it's a value for money though it is it is definitely because i do enjoy the restaurant but i can't give it a 10 i don't think i can give it a 9 either so i've given value for money 8 out of 10 not because the food is bad not because i don't think the food is worth the money but i feel like at the end of the day it is quite expensive and the restaurant itself overall is not unique as i mentioned you can definitely get food quality of the same caliber in other parts of france that are probably even a little bit less expensive than what you get here at hotel new york so but like 8 out of 10 is probably deserved for it again i'd love to hear your thoughts but for now i'm going to add it all up i can't do it right now but hopefully you can see it on screen the total score of manhattan restaurant at disney's hotel new york the art of marvel i actually don't know what the score is at this point so i'll know later when i edit it but i think i think so far it might have scored just a little bit more than jeremy who knows it is time to leave the restaurant and this hotel now though but yeah i would love to hear your thoughts on manhattan restaurant if you've eaten at this restaurant so far what do you think did you enjoy your meal also what did you get because like i said i've only really ever gotten the veal and the lasagna both were excellent really enjoyed both of them but the menu is quite wide there are definitely other selections on there that i would like to one day try if i can get myself to not order my favorite veal off the menu but yeah here is one last look at the beautiful lobby reception area of disney's hotel new york the art of marvel you've got the shop here as well which is always worth checking if you are a big marvel fan i've just noticed they're selling the baubles that you can see outside disney's hotel new york the art of marvel it's 95 euros though a lot but this is what i'm saying this is an expensive hotel an expensive hotel so obviously the things that they sell in it is also going to be expensive the restaurants will probably be more expensive than what you would imagine so in terms of other restaurants in disneyland paris but yeah i mean my meal took about an hour and a half which i think is absolutely reasonable because i think it was only one person i feel like it was very well paced my server was fantastic the food was really good i like the setting i mean i really don't have anything to complain about i really enjoyed my meal here and in some ways i feel like i probably enjoyed the meal itself maybe just a little bit more than i did at cheremi i don't know the veal is just so good whereas the steak at cheremi is just it's good the veal is amazing in my opinion anyway but like i said i really would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below so please make sure to leave your opinions down below follow me on instagram as well and yeah make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell on because there'll be another video coming up tomorrow with my third favorite sit down restaurant here at disneyland paris some of you have probably already guessed it in fact do leave a comment down below as well and see if you can guess what the third restaurant is going to be but thank you so much for watching i do appreciate you i am going to bid you farewell now goodbye from the marvel characters here iron man 
I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.